In today's video we are going to be taking a look at uh, yet another Wii knife. I made a few of those videos in the last couple of months and that must mean that Wii knife is doing something right. Uh, I cannot guarantee that this video will be as interesting as the other ones I've done because well it all depends on the model shown and I mean we have seen some really good stuff recently. The Magnetron, the Exciton and the Cepheus. All of them, no not all of them, it was only the Exiton and the Cepheus that were limited editions, whereas the Magnetron was not a limited run, although that one seemed to uh, sell out just as fast as the limited editions. Anyways, what I have here today is the Diatomic or Diatomic, but I also want to say that you know, real fast I made a channel video update and I do have two other Wii knives I'm going to be showing here on the channel uh, quite soon and that is the Riff Wrap. Actually both of these are Riff Wraps, I couldn't decide which version I liked the most so I ended up getting uh, two um, contrasting versions. None of them Dama Steel though, but still. Uh, but the focus for this video is this one, the Diatomic. And I am not 100% sure what I feel uh, about this knife. Um, the first time I saw it, I thought that you know it's it looks kind of kind of you know cool slash stylish in a sense. It is a dagger blade. Both edges are not sharpened, but it is a dagger design. And I, I do like daggers. I don't have a whole lot of. Uh, folding knife daggers, but I, but I am a fan of, of dagger style knives. But there were some other things that I were not quite sure about. Uh, so I've been on and off about this model, but I finally ended up ordering it because, well, my curiosity took the, the uh, upper hand. So let's do a bit of a unboxing uh, and then we can get into the actual uh, you know, specifications. Uh, the designs, the Argos, and all that. So, uh, unboxing to begin with. Let's start by removing this cardboard sleeve here. Yeah, no limited edition mark on that. Uh, yeah, we have you know the typical. I mean, we all know what the box is like, and we all know what the contents, aside from the knife, is going to look like as well, right? Getting some. Um, Silica gel, getting a uh, liaison Arrakis sticker, getting another Wii knife sticker, and some social media stuff. We get a um, Wii knife company yeah, introduction, instructions before use, etc. The kind of stuff that people never look at. We also get a um, piece of cloth that I do think is quite nice, and. Well, this is actually something I don't think I've seen before. So this seems to be like a small booklet of sorts with, I guess, upcoming and newly released models. So there are a few models shown here and on the back side. I mean, if you guys are curious about uh, upcoming models etc. I usually you know recommend people to head over to vknife.com to uh, and their coming soon section to see what is about to be released. So uh, that's the stuff we get and we also get the uh, knife in this Wii knife uh, nylon pouch which I think is quite good. It's also a pouch that fits two knives. Sadly, only one in this uh, right now. So, let's see. And here we have the knife itself, but I'm gonna clean up here so we can get a better look without anything distracting uh, from the knife itself. I'm gonna get the plastic out. So. Like new. Almost. Away with the box. So, here is the knife out of the box. 
quite a symmetrical knife, right? First thing people will notice, I believe, is the dual or the double pocket clip. That is something we rarely see, and it's not something that I am perhaps the biggest fan of, to be honest. Uh, is this the front side? Is this the front side? Nobody knows. Uh, no, seriously. I mean, this is this is you know very distinct. The dual, double pocket clip. Another thing that people will notice quite fast is that this is a tip-down carry. And that is something that people also will have, you know, an opinion about. I mean, the dual pocket clip is pretty much, I mean, it's just the, the it's, it's more, you know, the aesthetics. I think they did it because it looked, they wanted a symmetrical looking knife, I reckon. Uh, it is, of course, quite ambidextrous, but it's not something that will really, you know, affect, you know, the way you use the knife or carry it, etc. really. Uh, but the tip down is something that will have you know an, an impact uh, more than the, the double pocket clips. But we might get back to that later. But I'm just you know I'm just yeah I'm just throwing it out there right away because people will notice and people will have opinions about it. Uh, titanium, it could have you know it does have sort of a, a bit of a integral look to it but it is of course it is not an integral uh, it's just that this piece here oh sorry this piece here have this integral look to it nicely machined nicely milled however i will say that is we knife let's see logo down there this is also, I was going to say something about a, a lanyard hole here, but this one does not have a lanyard hole. Not that I use lanyards, but for those that do, well, you will have to drill that yourself and it's going to be tricky. Oh, it's going to be impossible. Uh, anyways, let's uh, flip this one open. That's some pretty snappy action i've got to say let's try that again let's see how oh actually quite quite nice um uh, shutting here so it doesn't fall shut but the blade is quite light i think the opening and the closing is actually well it's better than what i what i anticipated so that's actually quite quite nice so no lock stick Let's see no blade play nice uh, let's see that blade profile and like I mentioned the top side here is not sharpened it is however quite thin so for you know thrusting or penetration etc it doesn't really matter too much that it is not uh, sharpened, I believe. Let's take a look at the centering. So let's see if you can get a good view here. The centering is spot on. So first impressions is actually, you know, better than I thought. Uh, in terms of ergos, I don't think the pocket clips are in the way. It doesn't, you know, feel bad in any way. Um, actually, you know, having the knife folded out, I think it is, you know, less distracting uh, looking than when the knife is actually folded. So maybe we should take a look at some of the specs next. So, Handle is titanium, blade is CPM 20 CV. Good stuff, and I mean CPM 20 CV is what we see most knives from Wii Knife being released in right now, aside from uh, the different types of uh, Dharma steel, which is usually Hagapella or Heimskringla Dharma steel. Uh, the HRC is supposed to be 59 to 61. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this one is, but it's in that 
uh, range. Uh, the blade is bead blasted. Some may like it, others may not. I think that this one uh, or this model is uh, offered in, it is offered in Damasil and it's offered in a black coated blade as well. And it's also offered in a, a special, I don't know the name for it, but it's like a, a special coating of sorts uh, with some stripes etc to it almost. Uh, can't remember the name on top of my head. Uh, this one is obviously a um, flipper and the lock up here of the knife is about, I can't see in the camera myself, yeah I'd say around 25-30% which is quite nice. So the overall length of this dagger is 217 uh, millimeters with a blade length of 96 millimeters. So it's actually not that small. It is, I would consider this a, you know, medium to large knife, uh, probably. We've got a blade thickness of four millimeters. So you will have to, it's gonna be difficult to see since this is a dagger. I mean, you do have the thickest part here in the middle. Uh, there's actually some, some interesting, like a small fuller of sorts. In the middle there and there's also a bit of a something here not sure how visible it is right there yeah uh, the close length uh, wait did I say oh, the blade thickness yeah I did say four millimeters right so it is it is not that thin but since it is a dagger well it is well the thickest Thickest part is four millimeters, but that's not really representative for for the blade, to be honest. Uh, the close length here, close length is nine to six uh, millimeters. So yeah, medium sized knife, I, I think is fair to say, medium to, to large actually. Uh, the weight of this one, I think it's specified to 99 grams, but I'm gonna say that it is, yeah, it's 100 grams. Uh, one gram more or less, so 100 grams. Uh, the balance point of this one, that's gonna be a little bit tricky now with the dual pocket clips to, you know, balance it. So we can see that the knife is uh, quite a bit back heavy. And I mean, this is you know, quite a chunk of titanium. And like I said, despite being four millimeters in thickness, even how a, a dagger is ground, it's, it's really gonna be you know, back heavy. But this is perhaps a bit more back heavy than uh, it could have been. There's also, let's see, there is actually, it's gonna be hard to see on the camera, but there is quite a bit of internal milling. So they did actually try to, uh, is it possible for you guys to see this? Both sides do have internal milling. And I need to look here. It's actually quite a bit, quite a bit of internal milling. So they did, you know, they did try to balance it out as as best as they could, but even with heavy amounts of internal milling, the knife is still going to be quite a bit back heavy. Is that a problem? I would say it is not a problem, really. I mean, it is, I mean, with other knives, you might want to have the balance point being more on, but with this type of knife, I, I, I think it is, I, I don't think it is a big issue, and I guess that most daggers, be it fixed blades or folders, will be a bit back heavy. So, yeah, I think this knife is, is growing a bit on me. I mean, I do like it better than I thought. I mean, I don't often see folding daggers made in you know, high quality materials. So I'm happy with you know with what I with what I can get my hands on uh, that is of you know good quality with with good or great uh, fit and finish. Uh, something I didn't mention here is the the pocket clip here on both sides of course 
do have this uh, roller bearing. And that is something that I've seen before only on my knives from uh, ADV Tactical, Andrea de Villiers. Uh, I'm not sure if he's the one who like invented it, uh, but his knives are the, the knives that I, you know, I think of when I see a roller bearing. I mean, it is a useful design. It is a good design in my humble opinion. So um, just throwing it out there. Let's uh, test this one for sharpness, I think. Uh, would have been interesting to test it a bit for penetration or thrust. Ouch. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so uh, it's pointy. Like a needle. Yeah, that's gonna pierce whatever you thrust it into. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go and grab a piece of paper so we can actually test the, the factory edge in terms of uh, uh, pure sharpness. So let's do a bit of uh, sharpness testing here, uh, cutting some uh, regular printing paper and cutting some uh, newspaper. And we're gonna go with the regular printing paper first uh, to see how this one uh, performs. So let's try it out. Uh, we've seen that the knife will slice paper. Fairly well. Yeah, so uh, it will obviously slice the, the printing paper quite nicely. Let's go with the newspaper next, which is a bit different in uh, you know texture and feel of sorts. Usually, this is what gives most knife. Uh, you know, not really trouble, but in my experience, I felt like, you know, printing paper can sometimes also be tricky for certain, you know, grinds and levels of sharpness, etc. But anyways, let's, uh, let's just cut this uh, newspaper up here. It would seem that uh, this one will slice both uh, printing paper and uh, newspaper without uh, much trouble. So that is a, a good thing. I think the Wii knife, I've said this before with, uh, with the Magnetron and with the Cepheus and with the um, Exiton as well, that I think that they have improved uh, the level of sharpness um, that I've got to say, or got to give them. So let's clean this table up a bit and talk about some sorts of, you know, final thoughts and conclusions. Try to keep it real short. Time for some, you know, final thoughts and conclusions about uh, diatomic or diatomic. Still don't know how to pronounce that name. Uh, I also want to say that I may sound, you know, not overly enthusiastic or excited about this knife, and that has more to do with my level of energy this very day than with the, the actual knife itself. Uh, so I, I just thought I should, you know, clarify that. That being said, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, uh, I was hesitant, you know, picking this knife up in the very beginning because of, well, mainly the aesthetics. I'm still not a fan of the, the dual pocket lips. I mean, not, not, you know, from a practical standpoint, just pure, you know, aesthetics. I think it would have looked nicer with one pocket clip. And, you know, while we're at it, they could have made it, you know, a, a tip up carry instead of a tip down carry, which it is right now. But those are not deal breakers for me. And like I said, uh, we don't see dagger styled high quality folding knives that very often. 
So other than the pocket clip, like I said, I, I do think that the knife is comfortable. I never mentioned it before, speaking about Ergos. Wear size 10 in gloves, fairly large hands, placing the knife in my hand, looks like this. So you have quite a bit of, quite a bit of space, quite a bit of room uh, holding this knife. Holding it like this might not be the most comfortable thing because uh, given the design, let's see if you can get it in focus, you will have these uh, flippers protruding here. Uh, one on each side. Uh, I mean, you do of course only use one of them because, yeah, I mean, yeah, you you cannot simply use this one. Uh, so I mean, it's it's only open. You can only open it one way, of course. Uh, so would I have liked the edge to be sharpened, the non-sharpened side here? No, I do prefer it being, you know. Uh, sharpened on one side and non-sharpened on the other side. Like I mentioned, it will not affect the actual performance of the knife. And it would be, you know, it would be, you know, risky in a way that if you decide to close the knife using the finger like this, you will cut yourself every time. Uh, sure, you don't have to. You could just go with this little flipper here and close it like that. But I think that it would be quite prone to, to accidents with a, a real double edge to it. So yeah, and speaking about this part here, I think that, you know, while they were at it, I think they could have made perhaps a small glass breaker in the bottom here. I mean, it is flat. It's not rounded, it's not spiky. It is in fact uh, flat. Could have gone with a glass breaker. They could also perhaps have have gone with a, uh, with a you know, with a lanyard hole perhaps in some way uh, for those that want it. I don't want lanyard holes so I mean I prefer this over actually having a lanyard hole but a, a glass breaker maybe that would have been a thing you know since they are going for a very tactical design I think that's no I mean it, it is it's quite obvious that this is a a tactical knife of sorts uh, for better or worse of course. So um, will this knife see a lot of use? I do not think it will see you know, that much use. I think that this design could be illegal in some countries and some states in the US. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, had it been a double-edged dagger, then it would for sure have been uh, illegal in, in quite a few countries and quite a few states as well, I reckon. Uh, can this be a useful knife even though uh, it is a dagger design? Yeah, of course, you can use it for, for you know, quite a lot of tasks, but there are probably other knives that will do better than this one. So all in all, I think that this is a, a nice knife. Uh, if you are looking for a folding dagger in high quality materials with good or great fit and finish, then this can definitely be for you. Just, you know, uh, remember that it is tip down carry dual pocket clips. But other than that, it is a nice, Folding dagger from Wienai. I bet you guys thought the video was over, but it isn't. I actually forgot something. That is, I won't say that it is you know a major thing, but it is still semi-important given you know the design of this knife. In most of my video reviews, I talk a little bit about you know holding a knife in a reverse grip. I don't talk a whole lot about it because it's usually not something that people do. Uh, but given that this is in fact a dagger design, it is in the you know it is in the design. This knife is supposed to you know stab, thrust, pierce, etc. And that is something that people might do in a reverse grip. So kind of you know kind of ironic that I forgot it with this specific knife, but I included it in a lot of other of my knife reviews. I think I'll blame it on the fact that I haven't really posted or published any videos in a long time, so it just you know slipped off my mind. Uh, and as I mentioned also in my video, I am kind of tired. But anyways, let's talk a little bit about the ergonomics in the reverse grip. So holding it in a reverse grip feels quite nice. You can either hold it just like this. You do have the two you know clipper tabs here, the mini guard sticking up, but that is not, you know, a big concern. And it might help, you know, when you stab into something, but more so when you, you know, thrust in or pierce something with the knife. Um, you also can utilize the grip where you press your thumb here on the back part of the knife, since there is no 
glass breaker there is no spike or anything it is a flat surface but i think that you know pressing your thumb like this and stabbing into something really hard might actually damage your thumb a bit so i would probably avoid it but i'm just you know telling you that you you can hold it that way should you want to uh, but yeah <clears throat> the reverse grip it does feel good in my hand i guess they did you know do some testing before they made a knife and that it was supposed to be you know comfortable holding in a grip like that so now we have included the reverse grip in the video review about the, the atomic <laughs>